Hello, Christ Temple boys and girls. Welcome to church. It's a beautiful Sunday, a day filled with joy and celebration for Christians all over the world. Get your handkerchief and wave it to Jesus with a shout of praise. You can jump, you can clap, and add a shout. Today is Easter. Let's say together, Christ is risen, Christ is risen, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Let's begin our service with a prayer. Say with me, Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for sending Jesus into my life. Help me to understand what Jesus has done for me as I learn in your presence today. In Jesus' name, Amen. It's Merry Verse time. A Merry Verse for today is found in Matthew 28, verse 6a. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Matthew 28, verse 6a. Let's say it again. Matthew 28, verse 6a. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Matthew 28, verse 6a. For the last time, Matthew 28, verse 6a. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Matthew 28, verse 6a. Can you close your eyes and say it aloud? Matthew 28, verse 6a. He is not here. For he is risen, as he said. Matthew 28, verse 6a. Good job! Get ready for our lesson. Today, we celebrate Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ from death. The main point in our lesson today is, Jesus overcame death so we can live forever. Before we go into our lesson, can you tell me why Jesus died? He died to save us from sin, which separated us from God, and to bring us back to God. Take your Bible and let's turn and read today's scripture reading from John chapter 20 verse 1 to 18 John chapter 20 verse 1 to 18 Now on the first day of the week Mary Magdalene went to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb Then she ran and came to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved They have taken away the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. Peter therefore went out and the other disciple and were going to the tomb. So they both ran together, and the other disciple outran Peter and came to the tomb first. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen cloths lying there. Yet he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. And he saw the linen cloths lying there, and the handkerchief that had been around his head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded together in a place by itself. Then the other disciple who came to the tomb first went in also, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. Then the disciples went away again to their own homes,
But Mary stood outside by the tomb, weeping. And as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the tomb. And she saw two angels in white sitting, one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. Woman, why are you weeping? Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Now, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni. Which is to say, teacher. Do not cling to me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things to her. Let's look at the resurrection story once again. How it all began. Jesus was whipped, given a crown of thorns, and mocked for saying that he is king of the Jews. Jesus carried his cross to the place of crucifixion, helped by Simon of Cyrene. He was stripped and nailed to the cross and crucified at Golgotha between two criminals. After some hours, the soldiers checked by stabbing him in the side where blood and water gushed out. Jesus was dead. Jesus was buried. Early in the morning, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. She ran to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, John, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb and we do not know where they have laid him. Simon Peter and John ran to the tomb, with John outrunning him. When they got to the tomb, they found the stone rolled away from the entrance. They entered in and did not find the body of Jesus Christ. His clothes were neatly folded and placed. The disciples believed what they had seen and went home to tell the others. Mary Magdalene stood outside the tomb, weeping. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb and saw two angels in white, seated where Jesus' body had been, one at the head and the other at the feet. They spoke to her. Woman, why are you weeping? Mary Magdalene turned around and saw Jesus standing there and did not know that it was Jesus. She thought he was the gardener. Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him and I will take him away. Mary. Raponi, teacher. Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my father and your father, and to my God, and your God. Our Lord Jesus Christ is alive. 
Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is the resurrection story. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, God has given us a new life to overcome sin. God has given us a new life to live a good life. God has given us a new life that helps us to walk by faith. God has given us a new life that helps us to have peace. God has given us a new life after death. This can happen to you if you accept Jesus and what he has done for you. Say this with me. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner. I thank you for dying on the cross for me. I confess you with my mouth. I believe in my heart that you are the son of God who rose from the dead. Please forgive me of my sins and wash my heart clean. Be the Lord of my life. Amen. Happy Easter to you all boys and girls. And don't forget, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. See you all next week. God bless you.